How dare you, Paul George? It wasn't supposed to be like this. The Indiana Pacers were meant to be worse than they actually are right now. What are you doing, Paul George? How dare you look like a superhuman? They told us you were not going to come back the same after that scary leg injury you had. We NBA fans had to change our mindset because of you and your pieces who made us lower our expectations. We've seen you battling LeBron in the conference finals two years in a row. Matter of fact, Birdman saw you pretty close in those meetings. You and your triple doubles as soon as the playoffs started, and then you break your legs so bad that they told us you're not going to come back the same again anymore. You went back to a losing record of 38 and 44 without George. You readjust your goals, expectations and roster by letting David West go. Well, we all know you actually didn't let him go, it just serves me better for narrating the purpose right now. You let Roy Hibbert go, and you went younger instead with Miles Turner at the draft. It was clear, you're not fighting for a top spot anymore. You, PG, you tested us during the preseason saying, I have the same goal. You know, I wasn't the MVP last year. I want to be the MVP this year. I'm more like, okay, we love your mindset and all PG, but let's face it. And now with just 15 games, you're averaging a career highest in points, 26.4, rebounds 8 and assists 4.6. The field goal percentage was 45.8% and the three-point percentage of 45.1. What's happening? You were on a five-game winning streak this past week. You won all three games and you Paul George, how dare you? You average 37.3 points, 6.7 rebounds, 2.3 assists, 1.3 steals while shooting 54.7% from the field, 57.7 from three, and 86% from the free throw line. During the stretch, which made you the Eastern Conference Player of the Week, you scored 40 points and hit seven of eight threes against Washington on November the 24th. Who are you? Well, truth be told, no one actually lied to us. They said you'd probably never be the same again. They were right. You came back even better. Even your coach is having difficulties explaining what planet you're from, Paul George. It's tough to quantify in words. Just please keep exceeding our expectations. The league needs you, Paul George. How dare you? Paul George. Welcome back, PG-13. In terms of how I felt energy-wise, how my body reacted to it, I've always worked hard, and I take pride in, in, in the work ethic. But it was almost like a reality check that, you know, started me back in where I came from and how I started. I had to put that extra work in, um, extra conditioning. While those guys were practicing, I was on the bike for almost the whole practice. And the bike is, <laughs> is boring. You know, they're tired from practice. I wanted that. I mean, a lot of those guys wanted to trade places with me, but it was mutual. I like to get better. I like to improve my game. I take my summers very serious. Basketball is not a job, it's not, it's not my work. It's just what I love to do, so I leave all the outside distractions. I don't like to just do something, I like to be the best at something. It's almost like, you know, what are you doing it for uh, if you don't, you know, have that motivation to be the best. That's how I look at it, because you only get one shot at it. And for the NBA, it doesn't come around for everyone. It's, it's so many, you know, players, there's so many guys that, that want to be in the NBA and want to play professional basketball, that you got to keep up with them. No shortcuts to it. 